Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. Today uh, I would like to share with you uh, another new, for me, new uh, knife um, brand. So this is uh, Rake Knives. So this is the company owned by Phoenix Light Limited. Um, I can say I, I am using as my DCA Phoenix flashlight, so I'm more than happy with uh, with this company. So I wanted to also check out a few of their knives. So stay tuned; they will be uh, featured here on my channel, and we will be talking about the Rake P865, and this is the black variant i am not aware of uh, if there is at this point any other uh, color variants available but let's see so inside the box we have the knife and a few materials so uh, what is this okay so this is the warranty card okay construction and we have also informations here okay so let's go through the through the information so blank length 9.1 3.58 overall length is 20.5 centimeters or 8.07 inches the blade thickness 3.1 or 0 0.12 inches the weight is 70 grams or 2.47 inches and we have a blade steel of of Sandwick 14C28N and the bend, um, handle materials are G10 and okay let's also check if there are any liners so this is some kind of advertisement okay a few different models some of these will be featured here on the channel of course And if I'm mistaken, my friend Joe has the P801 uh, modified, so he will probably chime in and share his uh, opinion about rake knives. If not, I hope he will. <laughs> okay, so inside the box, uh, this is the knife. We have some slogan here, so rake, ready to make it, ready to make it, make what, okay. So nice, slick and slim design. And let's take out this. Okay. So we have a liner lock construction, obviously. Uh, really nicely made and positioned deep carry pocket clip with a nice bend so this will be really nice to put inside your pocket and take it out nice action we have only one uh, thumb stud It rides on phosphor washers. Really smooth.
the centering is perfect as I can see it's really nice and light it has a beautiful reverse tanto shaved blade so very efficient cutter or box opener and I really love to see that uh, a bunch of companies are releasing these uh, these blade shapes uh, on their knives so stay tuned I will feature some more of course here on my channel and this is the the, the main mission probably the main mission of this channel to, to share with you the passion of collecting knives and uh, uh, share with you the what is new and what is uh, great about and uh, the time we are living in and uh, products they are available to us and also give you a perspective of if the product is uh, good for you or maybe if you should uh, you should invest your money or not so if there is any problems i will uh, share them with you of course whatever i buy knives or supplies or tools that are paid for uh, with my money so i'm not sponsored by any company so I can speak my honest opinion so we have a two screw construction here but if I see it right they have, there are one two three screws inside they are not visible because they are through the backspacer and they are probably mounted inside these nested liners and they are exposed i don't know why they should be hidden inside the inside the backspacer they are clearly enough enough thickness there so i don't know if this is a maybe quality control issue or this is how it should be i know if you have one of these and you are you're watching my channel and please comment down below if this is the same on yours or maybe just slips through the quality control because i had uh, similar issues on one of my two sun knives but anyway we have a uh, milled out uh, liner here so for weight reduction always good to see the blade is uh, setting blasted i would say it look like it is blasted so i really don't um, don't prefer uh, blades they are blasted because obviously you have uh, a rusting potential high risk of rusting if you have uh, exposed pores and yes, this is a sandwich steel, so it should be uh, rust resistant, but only to to a good degree. If you have a humid and um, humid and warm environment, this could probably rust on you. So just keep that in mind. Probably uh, you should use like I'm using on all my knives uh, uh, rust inhibitors. If you don't have any, just use your your oil, uh, vegetable oil. Uh, if you want to uh, to use it as a food prep, if not, then apply some uh, WD-40 or Bellistol or any any silicone oil you have inside your toolbox. It's certainly better than uh, to have nothing there. The size is really nice also in my large hand 
there is no choil, so keep that in mind. There is nothing uh, protecting you for slipping and cut your finger badly. So it has a really nice radius scale. Yeah, really nice design for uh, for I would say my first rake knife. Price wise, you are looking at MSRP of forty nine ninety five. It depends on where you're buying it. Uh, these can can go really cheap for around I don't know thirty five to thirty six dollars. But also can can go also higher. Depends on where you're buying it. If you are from Europe, you will probably pay uh, at MSRP, maybe a little bit uh, higher. It is just what it is, applying all those taxes and and import charges, you know. Well, anyway, as a EDC, lightweight EDC, as a gift knife, really nice option, really nice option. So this was the Rake P865 liner lock. If you have any questions, leave comments down below. And as always, have a nice day. Bye.